brilliant, world famous investigator, teacher, researcher. He's a superstar in the cancer world, in particular in the field of genetics and hereditary causing cancer. He's changed medicine. He's a hero. He's a legend in American medicine. Actually, he's a legend around the world. I know a lot of smart guys. Henry's a, a genius. A genius with an unlikely start. Henry Thompson Lynch left home and school at 14, joined the Navy during World War II, and later found himself throwing punches under the professional boxing name Hammer and Hank. But after a while, the self-described average student was ready for something a little less painful and a lot more challenging. I immediately um, checked with the Veterans Administration and uh, I immediately got into uh, uh, college. And I, you know, got in without a, without a high school or anything, you know. Henry Lynch took it from there, earning a college degree, a master's degree, and eventually his MD. His fascination for genetics developed in medical school, but it wasn't until years later he would see something, something few others did, something that would have experts from around the world questioning his research, something that would change the way we look at cancer today. It was the pattern of the cancers, uh, the way they were distributed in the pedigrees, and we did extensive pedigrees, and it couldn't be anything else but a hereditary situation. And we published this as a collection and, uh, and it got a lot of attention, but not uh, enough attention to make the world believe that there was something there. The pieces of the puzzle were clear to Lynch. Cancer was killing extended families at a higher rate. There had to be a genetic link, but it would take decades for the scientific community to embrace the idea to realize his groundbreaking research would become a game changer for generations to come. Generations that aren't born uh, will have been saved from a, uh, uh, an early cancer death because of this work. Every day when we see cancer patients, you know, the suggestion that do they have a family history, is there a family concern, family genetics, and what we can do about that, he has really been the leader of that, which has improved the care of life of thousands of patients across the world. What Dr. Lynch has contributed to is um, really a growing understanding that much of what we deal with in, 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 in healthcare and medicine, much of the illness that we deal with, has a genetic component. And that is why Lynch is often referred to as the father of hereditary cancer. His research led to the discovery and identification of a hereditary form of colon cancer, now known as Lynch syndrome, and helped discover the link between your family tree and breast, ovarian, endometrium, melanoma, pancreatic, and other cancers. But he is the first to tell you he didn't do it alone. Part of his success, uh, part of uh, what he loves about what he's doing now and what he had been doing then, it was a, a family thing for him. His wife, uh, Jane Lynch, uh, an RN, she was kind of the uh, tail to uh, Henry's kite. Uh, she kept him focused. And now people in the Midwest will come to know the focus, the dedication Henry Lynch has brought to Creighton University School of Medicine and cancer research with the unveiling of the Henry Lynch Cancer Centers at CHI Health Bergen Mercy and CHI Health Emanuel. It signals that we are, uh, as a health system, not just about the treatment of disease, particularly at the end uh, of the, the disease process, but we are focused on um, finding ways to uh, identify people that are at risk and ultimately prevent illness from ever occurring. Dr. Lynch's work has opened that door for organizations like ours who are solely focused on keeping people healthy. At age 87, Dr. Lynch still goes to the office every day. He's cut back a little, in at 4 a.m., out by 4.30 p.m. That's because Hammer and Hank still has the determination of that 16-year-old boxer to fight for that next breakthrough, to find that next pattern. He may not cure cancer, but he will spend the rest of his life trying to stop it. You know, he is a model of a physician who is so devoted to his patients, devoted to improving medical research, devoted to improving uh, 
the life of these patients, and not just the life of these patients, but the life of their descendants. Uh, he just puts his heart and soul into that. If you uh, want to know how to live your life, uh, Henry is a good role model. If you want fashion advice, uh, Henry's not your guy. <laughs> I hope the legacy will be that I did help with the help of others. And uh, my help was generated in a major way by my colleagues.